Hey everybody, Tosin here with a Hunter Pet Guide. In this video, I'm going to clear up any confusion you may have about what pets you should bring in your arsenal and how do you determine what pet is right to use at what times. So let's get right into it. Alright, so first off, you have to remember that uh, pets provide buffs for the most part, and then um, one important debuff, which would be the Mortal Wounds debuff. So pets provide a wide variety of buff options. It's pretty much a Swiss Army knife of buffs. So you have to think about uh, stat priority not just for yourself, but for your teammates as well. So to keep it simple, um, first of all, the most important thing isn't just isn't the buffs, it's actually Mortal Wounds debuff. If you do not have a Mortal Wounds debuff on your arena team, you want one. Uh, the only exception would be if you're playing, you know, double DPS 2s and you're fighting a team that doesn't really have heals. Like Mage Rogue, for instance, has very little self-healing, so you could, you know, bypass in 2v2, for example, using a Mortal Wounds. But if there's any healer or hybrids in the arena match, you need a Mortal Wounds. So, for instance, if you're playing with a Feral Druid or a Ret Paladin, they don't have a Mortal Wounds debuff to provide for your team, so you have to provide that, and that is very crucial, and that is the top priority. Always provide Mortal Wounds if you don't have one. Next top priority would be Mastery. Mastery is just an overall good stat for everybody, including yourself. Now, even if you're Marksman, uh, Mastery is not a high stat priority at all, but um, your teammates, for instance, would benefit more from you having Mastery buff if they don't already provide that. Uh, it's better for you to provide Mastery for your whole team, even if it's not great for you as a Marksman Hunter, um, because you get more out of that as a team than you would buffing a lesser, st less important stat like Crit, even if that's better as Marksman in particular. So the priority is um, having a Mortal Wounds debuff, and then having Mastery, and then after that would probably be Mark of the Wild, or, you know, 5% to all stats, and then after that would be Crit. So that's pretty much the priority, and the rest of the stats are really not that important, because there's almost never a situation where you'd want them, based on, you know, typical comps. So let's see which exact pets you should be using to get these buffs, or to have these buff options for whatever comp you're playing. So, for example, uh, I'm, you know, if I'm spec BM, the main three pets that I'm gonna have, I don't really want this giant arsenal because I pretty much only need these three pets. You can, you can get like a cleft hoof, uh, for instance, to add versatility plus multi strike for a situation where you'd want those buffs and you don't need the other higher priority buffs. But um, I haven't really had this situation with the typical comps I play. So, um, usually having a spirit beast and then a shale spider. And then a Devil Soar are usually the only pets that you're going to really need to provide all the important buffs. For instance, the Shale Spider is 5% to all stats and 5% crit. Uh, Spirit Beast is 550 mastery and 5% crit. All of these actually provide 5% crit. So the difference is the Spirit Beast provides mastery in addition to crit, Shale Spider is 5% stats in addition to crit, and the Devil Soar is the Mortal Wounds debuff in addition to crit. So now you know which pets you actually need, and it's pretty simple. So where would you apply these pets? You know, the key really is to understand which buffs every class in the game provides for your team. So do a little research if you have to. If you don't know all the buffs that each uh, class or spec provides, definitely feel free to look up buffs on wowhead.com as an example. Um, you could just look up what they provide or ask your teammates, for instance, what they provide if you don't know or look at your buffs in game and add it all up. But for instance, if I'm playing with a arms warrior and a holy paladin, well, paladins can provide 5% stats or 550 mastery, right? Uh, and a warrior can provide you know 10% attack power or you know 10% health or I believe 3% versatility which they also get uh, so they have to choose though between 10% attack power or 10% health for your team well you already provide 10% attack power passively with true shot aura so it's smarter for the warrior to buff commanding shout when playing with the hunter 
And then the Paladin can choose between 5% to all stats for your team, or 550 Mastery. Well, I'd prefer him to give Blessing of Kings, which is 5% all stats, and then I use a Spirit Beast. And then I get Mastery and Crit for my pet for my whole team. So that, because I'm using the right pet, I'm getting two extra buffs for my entire team by picking the right pet. Now if I use the Shale Spider, for instance, which is 5% stats and, and crit, then my Paladin could use the Mastery buff instead. But I'd rather use the Spirit Beast because it provides an extra heal, which the Shale Spider does not. So I'd definitely rather have the Spirit Beast's added bonus of the healing. So as you can see, that's the right choice. Now what if I'm playing with a Paladin and a Feral Druid? Well. Oh yeah, I, already, I forgot to mention too, the Warrior provides the healing debuff Mortal Wounds, which is super important. You always need that. So if I'm playing with a Feral Druid and a Holy Paladin, well, I have to consider the fact that the Feral Druid doesn't provide a Mortal Strike, so I need to use the Devil Soar, because Devil Soar is the only exotic pet that you can use as BM that provides a Mortal Wounds. So I get the Mortal Wounds debuff, and then I get 5% crit. Now, a Feral Druid also passively... Uh, gives you 5% crit. Unfortunately, we don't have an option for Mortal Strike and a different buff. So there will be a little bit of an overlap at that point. So pretty much if you're ever playing a comp where you don't have a Mortal Wounds debuff provided, always use the Devil Soar as BM or use another Mortal Wounds pet as Marksman of Survival. Um, you know, like a Scorpid or a River Beast. So that's always super important. So if you're playing with a Feral Druid or a Ret Paladin or something like that, then you definitely need the Mortal Wounds. Now, everything changes though based on what class you're playing with, Just uh, so keep that in mind. You just want to provide maximum buffs. Now, let's say instead of KFC or Jungle Cleave, let's say I'm playing with a Rogue and a Resto Shaman. Well, Resto Shaman um, provides the 550 Mastery bonus already, so I don't have to worry about Mastery. And the Rogue provides a healing debuff, so I don't have to worry about the healing debuff. And those are the two most important things. So, since I don't have to worry about either of those, what can I provide if I'm playing with a Rogue and a Resto Shaman? Uh, rogues also provide Haste and Multi-Strike. So, Rogues provide a lot. <laughs> healing debuff, uh, Haste and Multi-Strike passively. You provide 10% attack power passively, and the Shaman provides Mastery. So, what's left? Well, Shale Spider would be perfect in that situation because it provides 5% uh, stats and 5% crit, which neither of my two teammates in that scenario provide. So, boom, Shale Spider's got you covered. And if you're not playing Beast Mastery and you're playing that comp, well, you want to provide uh, whichever stat is the most important, and I am not totally sure which is more important overall, 5% stats or 5% crit. I'm leaning more towards the 5% stats, but I could be wrong, but honestly it's probably not a big difference. So uh, just try your best to use a pet that fills in a gap. So you could use a gorilla for 5% stats, or a wolf for 5% crit in that scenario when you're playing you know, survival or marksman with a rogue and a shaman. And then let's say you're playing with a druid and a warrior, for example. Well the druid provides Mark of the Wild, the 5% stats and then the warrior provides you know 10% health because he can't provide the 10% attack power so um, if you're BM and you're playing with a druid you, you know you don't want the mark of the wild uh, from the shale spider so again this would be a perfect time to bust out the spirit beast because that provides mastery which a druid does not or warrior does not and mastery is the most important thing to provide in most cases so um, mastery and then crit and boom perfect pet you're not wasting any buff so as you can see just having these three pets as BM uh, pretty much has you covered in virtually all scenarios at least with the most common comps and I can't really see you needing anything more than that and then as uh, you know marksman and survival of course you have less awesome buffs provided but it's pretty easy to fill those gaps as well so that's pretty much it. So to wrap it up, um, just to keep it simple, make a list for you of what pets you should get as BM first, which would be a Spirit Beast, a Shale Spider, and a Devil Soar. And then you could also get like a Cleft Hoof and uh, you know whatever other random pets you feel like having, but I don't think you'll never need them. And then as uh, non-BM specs, you'll want to get a Cat, a Mortal Strike providing pet like a, a River Beast or Scorpid, and a wolf for crit and then a gorilla for five percent stats and that's pretty much it nothing else is really super important so now when i say like a gorilla or something i think there's other pets that provide the same buff so if you don't particularly like a certain pet you could also go to the database on wowhead.com and look at hunter pets and they will show you every type of pet and what buffs they provide if you want to get really choosy about it 
Anyway, guys, that is it for this video on Hunter Pets. Hope it helped clarify how you should set up your arsenal. Thanks for watching, as always, and peace out.